looks like an ordinary old lady walking past. Your mom! It's secretly, secretly Granny Whitehair. She is secretly up to a plan to destroy all the youth in the world. I'll use my special microphone to hear what she's saying. Ow! Those fancy gym jams think they're hoverboards and they're... Their trolleys and their automobile cars are so fancy! But that's secretly her mom, I mean her daughter driving in that car just went, went, that just went past. See that that lady walking past? She dyed her hair red, which means she dyed it with blood. Those, those people are disguising themselves as an average group of friends. But you're wrong. They're secretly evil. You know how I know? Because I can sense these things. That car that's slowly driving. I think he's he or she has blown our cover. Actually, it's not a he or she. It was a person who was born a woman. I mean a man, but was sec but defines his agender. That yellow car is secretly the magic school bus in disguise. Miss Frizzle is turned evil. It's true, you people. Now she's Frizzle. Now she's Frizzle. The man is secretly working for um the evil person. <laughs> that man is secretly evil. He's helping that 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 innocent clueless woman to walk across her he's gonna he's gonna make her stop in the middle of the road but actually that woman is secretly working for the for a different evil team and the both evil teams are against each other for some reason because they both want to be the best evil team but they're rivals so the woman actually secretly knows of his plan and is pretending to not know so she can strike back anyway you might not see that guy in the green thing over there but let me assure you he's working for the good guys. Or so he wants us to think he's actually working for the bad guys. Anyway, that see that red car followed by that silver car? The red car is trying to get away from the silver car because the sil red car, the person in the red car stole something from the person in the silver car that the person in the silver car wants back. But the person in the white car is chasing the person in the silver car because that's the mom of the driver in the silver car. She's chasing him and saying, Steady, I get back here! I haven't finished my bowl bath yet! Man, he's got the number. Hey, what number is on his shirt? Is that a ten or? Oh no, whatever number. It stands for how many you. It stands for how many people he's he's murdered. That woman is secretly, <laughs> secretly from Brazil. She's a she was a foreign exchange student in third grade. She had giant buck teeth, braces, and and giant glasses with, that were really round and big, and they were such eighties glasses. If she was in third grade in the eighties, that means she's at least in her forties or late thirties now. Oh, by the way, that guy who's working there. That guy is the, is working for the neon green patrolmen, who are the good guys. But he's not undercover. He's not an evil guy undercover as like that like the other guy was. But he's actually a good guy undercover as an evil guy, pretending to be an evil guy undercover as a good guy. That's confusing. Anyway, the lady from Brazil is actually married to that guy who's walking away at the trolley. But they but they have to keep the relationship a secret because because um. Well, basically, if you really want to know, they um the, the reason they're keeping the relationship a secret is because they're from different countries. He's from Africa and she's from Brazil, and those countries fought in in a in a very obscure world war that not many people know about called World War Version 2.5, that happened in the late 90s due to people arguing about whether 90s or 2000s cartoons were better. That lady is secretly one of Mama Taliano's great nieces. Those people right there, they're disguising themselves as ordinary school students, except for that, that one in the front who's probably a grown-up. They're secretly descendants of that old guy who's secretly a thousand years old, but he's pretending to be only 55 to trick everyone. That car driving past is secretly working for the army. That The guy, a better guy wearing army green will walk out. And then the, their radio is probably playing the song Traveling Soldier by Dixie Chicks. That's the yellow car. That's that's the yellow car that works for the magic school bus evil army force. There's a lot of evil teams here, by the way. That giant group of people walking. They're pretending to be part of the national fun run, but secretly they're part of the national boring run. It's like the a fun run, but with absolutely no fun. That lady with a trolley. The trolley looks empty, but she's actually carrying invisible drugs in it. 
Now she's realized that I've spotted her and is putting the drugs back. Those two boys there are secretly dating each other, but they don't want anyone to find out. She is part of the government, but but she's actually dating that guy who just walked past in the background with no hair on his head except for on the back and so. <laughs> Difficult, difficult, just wait a minute, sorry about that. Now for a little song. Do, 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 do. This is a different version of a song that, that is really old. It's like a rock version. Ne, 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 ne. But all she left in my hands was a little flower. Was she a dream or reality? I may never know. Whoa, whoa. Every hour I think about her. But all I can think is of the flower. Think of his flower. So she just walked away. Never saw her again. But I went to the park. There was loads of rain. And then I saw in the distance in the sky. There was a flower. Flower falling through the sky. I was wondering if I would ever see the flower girl again. Was she even real or was she just a dream? I thought I could feel it. It seems maybe it was fake. Maybe it was just a dream to me. By the way, the real version sounds nothing like that, which is why it's funny. That lady was secretly from Russia, and that man is secretly her great grandfather who she thinks is dead but he's actually alive he's just pretending to be he just turn, can turn into a ghost he can disguise himself as a ghost to make people think he's dead by throwing his legs into a ghost tail and making a wispy outline around him and he can float too but but she even thinks he's dead but he can still talk to her by pretending to be a ghost that man in the purple top he escaped fat camp <laughs> and by the way he, he escaped fat camp by running away which actually caused him to lose weight which meant that he that he was actually able to get out anyway so that actually helped him so they, they didn't chase after him because they were like oh if he keeps running he'll, he'll just get, gain his target weight go to his target weight anyway so let's just leave him so now he's just a normal size that group of people is disguised as an ordinary average family but the little girl the little girl quote quote in the school dress is actually secretly a um 45 year old man in disguise i know he actually pulls off the best little girl imitation out of every old or middle-aged man in the universe so he's the only middle-aged man who's actually able to pull off a little girl impersonation authentically it's really c cool and confusing at the same time that woman in the red top is named Laura Caitlin Ingleby and she is secretly dating that woman in the blue top and that woman in the blue top is the mom of that woman with the orange hair. That woman with the blue top is looking for her date, Laura Caitlin Ingleby, but she just missed her. Poor, poor woman. She thinks Laura Caitlin Ingleby is is really pretty, but Laura Caitlin Ingleby doesn't the, doesn't want to talk to her right now. You know why? Because the woman in the blue top, I'm just gonna call Bluebell, is at is secretly made out with with one of her ex-boyfriends, one of Bluebell's ones, not one of Laura's. Now Laura Caitlin Ingleby does not want to talk to her at all. By the way, Laura Caitlin Ingleby has a daughter named Isabella. That's Isabella right there. It, it was a result of a bunch of beer. <laughs> that woman right there is... She's gone. <laughs> that woman right there... <laughs> that woman right there is named Fernanda Frizziola Frindy. Secretly in love with that woman. <laughs> is that a woman or a man? I can't tell. No, that woman is secretly working for Mama Italiano's Italiano Force. That man is secretly in love with that woman, and that woman is in love with that man too. And by the way, you may think that they that they don't like each other, but they actually do. You know why? Because the man, the man. I mean, the woman had her life in danger. She was being attacked by a bunch of evil people in high school, at the high school prom, when suddenly the man rescued her with a sword and then and, and, a, and a shield. They're gossiping. You, you can't hear what they're saying, but I'll translate it because I have good hearing. I'll tell you what they're saying. One of them, the one with really, really long hair that was, like, really dark brown, black, whatever, was like, oh my god, oh my god, that man with the blue shirt. By the way, the man with the blue shirt is my granddad, the driver of this car. That man, oh my god, he's pushing a trolley that's like very small. That's what she was saying. Then the other two girls are giggling, and then then and then and the blonde one was like, oh my god, my boyfriend is so cute and hot. Then the other girl, who I forget what they look like now, the third girl was like, oh my god, your boyfriend is not hot at all. He's like just, just boring. By the way, that lady is secretly working for the sweater store, but 
those arms in the sleeves, those are not actually her arms. Her actual arms are, a are alien tentacles that she is hiding in her shirt underneath the sweater. What? Fine. You will find out what happens next time. Goodbye.